uh, trucking across Ohio today. Figured I'd do a little video here with my phone mount. My new windshield phone mount I got. Uh, make it a little less uh, illegal, if you will. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come and see what you guys thought about something. Uh, I had a little issue go down last week, man. And, uh, just trying to get somebody else's outside opinion on this and see if if I'm being a crybaby or if I, you know, if I got handled a little rough there, I, I'm trying to see. So, I'm a, the carrier I haul for, uh, there's no trailer rental fee involved. It's a 75-25 split. The 25% they keep off the loads uh, covers the reefer trailer rental. You know, it's covered in that. So, so last week I had a load pickup uh, that went to Bensonville, Illinois drop off on Tuesday and I pull up there on Tuesday 11 a.m. Well, they instructed for me that uh, the load don't drop off till Wednesday at 11 a.m. Well I had done had a load book to go to Walmart a 90 mile load from there went far out from there to pick up and uh so I kind of you know I begged them to unload me it's only six pallets of chicken they would just wouldn't have it I tried every trick in the book you know every, everything I could do so once I realized you know the broker gave me $350 layover on that so I was like, you know, that's all right, but I've got this other load over here. And it, it was worked out to where the yard was only 25 miles from Bensonville there. So I was able to go drop the loaded trailer on the yard. That dispatch uh, instructed me with their little plan for me to go to the yard and drop the trailer, the loaded trailer, get an empty there and go and pick up the Walmart load and go run it because it dropped off at 140 that morning and then come back to the yard that following morning and I could go uh, bring the load up to the U.S. Food and Bensonville and unload it. So, that's what I've done, all right? Uh, you know, just dropped the truck, dropped the loaded load on the yard, then went and got the, you know, took the empty, picked the Walmart load, went and took it to Walmart, come back, dropped the empty trailer, picked it back up with the loaded, and went back to Bensonville to unload. Uh, the best I could do, you know, and, uh, so I get my pay settlement there for the, you know, for that, for that right there, and realize that there's a, a $350 trailer rental fee on there. And I'm like, uh, maybe there's some kind of mistake, you know. So I, I email the, the accounting people here where I'm at. I get a text message from the boss man. Uh, yeah, I hear, but uh, you know, uh, what's going on? And um, he said, if you until you buy, until you want to buy two trailers. You know, and have yourself two trailers, and uh, then you can tie them up for as long as you need to tie them up. Until uh, then, you'll be charged 350 on a trailer rental. And I'm like, I can understand 350 trailer rental if I use the trailer for seven whole days, but I would use it for 91 miles, you know. And it was that uh, for something of no fault of my own, you know. Um, and keep in mind, there's one other little thing in the story. Uh, the trailer that had the load on it that I had to take to the yard and then go back and deliver. It had a problem with it, a mechanical issue. It was hung in high idle mode where it was uh, using three or four times the reefer fuel. So they done had a plan for me to unload that on Tuesday and bring it to the yard and get to this 1608 trailer that I'm, I got now and go and run the load and stay hooked in this trailer because that one had to go to the shop. So I'm like, so the trailer was going to be to the mechanic shop, which I'm sure it's still at the shop right at the yard still now. It wasn't like it was keeping a driver from pulling a load with it, you know, or no, nothing like that right there. Uh, yeah, and I just got dumped to 300 feet. I'll let them know. I said, hey, from now on, uh, if there's anything like this at all, advise me of the charge, you know. Don't just side swap me with it, you know. Like, you're getting, you know, your percentage off the load anyhow. And I just don't, you know, the load only paid 900 bucks. So, Matter 25% of 900 and 350 for the trailer rental, and then whatever fuel up in what does that? I mean, what does it leave? Peanuts, you know, pocket change. Just all, just, just work for nothing, you know. But uh, I just want somebody's opinion out there. If you may got time to watch this and give me an opinion, what do y'all think about that? Should I have been charged a 350, or, or or what? Am I looking at it as a crybaby? Or well, just let me know what y'all think, man. I really appreciate it. if you got time to watch this video. I just like to know, you know, what everybody else thinks about that. And uh, I really appreciate it. I'm just uh, coming across US 30 right now, heading towards Indiana. I got to go up to Dubuque, Iowa, and unload in the morning. They got a load of taters to pick up in uh, Rochelle, Rochelle, whatever, however you pronounce it, Wisconsin. Going to going to Costco there in uh, in Illinois. Going to unload at 7 a.m. Friday morning, reload at 7:30 there 
p.m. and head to the house. Like, just kind of my schedule, I got beat down pretty good. But, uh, yeah, man, just uh, wanted to see what you guys out there doing today. Just put a little video out. Glad I got me a little windshield mount so I can, uh, you know, video or do whatever. Riding down the road a lot of time to get something on my mind that I, you know, a good topic, something I like to talk to other people about. And, uh, I just don't uh, have no way to record, you know, safely or nothing like that. But I got it figured out now. But, uh, Anyways, man, I hope y'all have a good day out there. If you got time, leave me a comment. Hit the like button, how if you want to do all that. I appreciate it. And if not, I appreciate it too, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get on off here for now, man. God bless y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. Get back at me, man. Till then, stay safe.